Hi everyone! Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another week of Daily Energy Draws. I'm a little bit delayed, um, so I'm recording all of these today, Monday, 9-9, uh, September 9th, 2019. It is the 999 portal, um, which has a lot of interesting energy uh, surrounding it. So um, make sure that you check out our Facebook post for today's messages. Um, to learn more about the 999 portal. Um, I'll possibly talk a little bit about it today on the live stream, so make sure you do join us um, here on YouTube at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll do a Union Energies update, live chat. Um, we'll, we'll chat with the community, talk with you guys, and, and all of that. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. Today, we're going to be using the Journey of Love deck that I was called to use. So let's see what we have in store today, September 9th, 2019. Monday, September 9th, 2019. Okay. So what do you have to say for September 9th, 2019? September 9th, 2019. One, just one, one message for September 9th, 2019. If you guys missed it, check out the weekend reading that we did. It was pretty powerful, really, really fascinating. Um, and I have a feeling that, hold on. I have a feeling those energies are going to continue throughout the week. Get these in right side up order. Spirit is feeling cheeky today. It's going to make for a very interesting live stream. Okay. I'm going to take that one too. Beautiful. Okay. Um, we have two cards, and I am going to take two cards because they call me to the bottom of the deck. And here we have the Woman of Light, which came out. Look how beautiful this artwork is. And we have Intimacy. Now, what's interesting about this is look at all of this purple here. Um, they pointed this out to me. This is indicative of the crown and brow chakra. So those who are stepping into their feminine energies might also be stepping into their spiritual gifts. This could be masculines or feminines. Um, feminines, if you have already stepped into your spiritual gifts, this could be up-leveling, um, increasing your gifts, uh, increasing the power of your gifts is what they're giving me. Um, divine masculines, if this is your feminine within you, you could be waking up to your spiritual gifts, ex experiencing more telepathy, experiencing more downloads, experiencing more phenomena. So take it as it resonates for you. Um, but this is very divine feminine energy with this woman of light. Gender doesn't matter, but it's a feminine energy that's coming across, wherein the divine feminine holds the light for the divine masculine, for this intimacy to happen, for this connection to happen. Now remember, intimacy is not just sexual intimacy. Intimacy is vulnerability. Intimacy is communicating. Intimacy, they're telling me, is that soul to soul, heart to heart. Um, it's when they're showing me looking, they're showing me looking into my partner's eyes, but looking into your, your counterpart's eyes and seeing the whole of them, the truth of them, without the masks, without the illusions, without the 3D societal programming, without this human vessel even. You see the whole of them. You see the soul of them. You see the heart of who they truly are. And that can be why this connection is sometimes so scary because you also not just see them, but there's no judgment there. There's just pure acceptance. The judgment comes when they judge themselves because you are, as a counterpart, being the mirror. That's where all the karma comes up. That's where all the toxicity comes up because it's not toxicity between you, but it's toxicity that arises between you from your past, from past lifetimes. That's why the healing is so important on this journey, not just going through this lifetime, but inner child healing and past lifetime energy healing as well. That's what's so important. So that this intimacy, true intimacy, which is connecting heart to heart, which is, I'm hearing the words soul merge, soul merging they're giving me, um, that's when this happens. That is true oneness. This intimacy is true oneness. And the divine feminine, in her energy, in her um, receptivity, in her flow, 
in her nurturing nature, they're showing me the Empress card, and they're saying, in her nurturing nature, um, it's, 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 it's interesting energy, it's combined, because they're, they're showing me the Empress card, and they're also showing me the High Priestess, and it's, it's those combined, the High Priestess is really the elevated Divine Feminine, she's the Divine Feminine in almost like the, the higher ethereal realm, um, she is knowing, she's the keeper, I'm here, a keeper of the secrets, she's the keeper of, um, not keeper of the secrets, uh, keeper of like knowledge, keeper of understanding, keeper of wisdom. She holds the light for the connection. She's the guide for the connection. But she's that empress energy too because she's not cold, but she's rather nurturing. She's loving. Um, All-encompassing is what they're giving me. All-encompassing. Woman of light. Feminine energy. And you see how she's in her chakras here? She's in her higher element She's holding the light, but not keeping it to herself. She shines the light for her divine masculine and for others in the world. And as she shines the light for her divine masculine, and as her divine masculine rises into that divine masculine role to be the who I think of the counterpart to the high priestess is a magician, um, really manifesting. It's like the high priest and the magician combined because then they have all the tools then they have all the capabilities to manifest then they are ready for that journey for that oneness for that soul merge and as the divine masculine rises to be the divine masculine to be the supporter to be the protector to hold up the divine feminine i'm gonna i'm gonna deviate here because i feel like this is really important they're um showing this to me so i want to get this image I know I used to do this a lot, and I stopped it because it was so, here we are, time-consuming, but this is what they're showing me. This lover's card is this union between counterparts. Um, this is the most, how do I say that? It's it's the most beautifully depicted union energy I've ever, ever seen. Now, the Three of Cups is in union energy for me, but this is the true depiction of what that soul merge is, what that coming together is with your divine counterpart. Because you see how the divine feminine there is lifted up and that light, light, that source light, that source energy is shining down through both of them. But here, the divine masculine is really supporting the divine feminine, lifting her up, protecting her, being her guide, being her rock being dependable and stable and secure for her, while the Divine Feminine is allowing her light to flourish and affect the Divine Masculine, nurturing the Divine Masculine, supporting him in a guiding role as well because you support each other, protecting him but in a loving way, in a different way. In a way of the Divine Masculine is very um, material world oriented. He anchors the Divine Feminine in. You see how he's in the water here? He anchors the Divine Feminine in. Almost like they're giving me the sensation of as she's called to rise into the higher realms because that's where her energy is. It's really bringing that, that template down. It's almost like he's bringing her down to anchor her down. Not to bring her down to suppress her, but to anchor her down, to help her anchor into the physical world where he is. And that's where the soul merge happens. You you meet on the bridge there. You meet in the heart. You meet in the love. You anchor each other in. The divine feminine helps the masculine to rise into his gifts, to connect to the divine source energy itself, to connect to himself or herself, while the divine masculine helps to bring an anchor the spiritual nature of the Divine Feminine down. This is a beautiful energy. And that's the energy that I'm getting this. That's what this Intimacy card is. This is that oneness. This is that purity. This is that Divine Love. And the Divine Feminine holds that light. Holds that light. So um, the energy that I'm getting, the, the overall message for today is keep holding the light, Divine Feminines. You have that light within you. You have that love within you. So keep holding the light for your Divine Masculine, because they are coming, they are rising, wanting to join with you. Really beautiful. This is this was a really beautiful way to start the week. All right, guys, we'll be back today for the live stream at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that.
And then we'll be back with more daily energy draws coming throughout the week. So make sure you stay tuned for those as well. Really, really curious to see what we have throughout the week and how it relates. Um, last week's daily energy draws, I pre record them because remember, time is an illusion. Energy is always shifting and evolving. It was interesting how it really lined up with the collective energy. So I'm really excited to see what we have in store here. So I'm saying you guys so much love, so much light, and we'll see you later.